Let's talk about human muscles today. So we have three different types of muscle in the human body. One is cardiac, which we find in the heart, of course. Skeletal muscle, which is voluntary. We find that in our skeletal muscles, the things that we use to move our body. And we have smooth. We find that in the walls of hollow organs, things like our blood vessels and our digestive system. What we're looking at here is cardiac muscle. You can tell that it's cardiac muscle because of the striations. That's that banded appearance where you see where it goes light, dark, light, dark. You can also see at the ends of each of these cells very thin white bands, but they're slightly larger than the individual striations. Those bands are called intercalated discs. What those intercalated discs contain are gap junctions, which allows conductivity. That means that electrical chemical charge can go from one cell to the next. Next up, we have human skeletal muscle. This is our skeletal muscles again. This is what moves our body voluntarily. They're multinucleated, they're striated. They're very long fibers, and they, again, have those striations. And as I focus through this sample, you'll be able to see the different types of striations uh, that we find in skeletal muscle. Just because these muscle fibers are not laying perfectly flat in the plane, you know, small undulations here, there are different thicknesses in, in the uh, sample. But you can see that it's multinucleated. It's got multiples of those the little purplish blue dots. Those are all nuclei so that the RNA can be produced and proteins and so on can be produced from one end of the cell to the other end of the cell very efficiently. Next up we have human smooth muscle. This is from the intestines. This is actually an intestinal sample. But these are spindle-shaped smooth muscle cells. They're uninucleated, they're involuntary, just like the cardiac is, but they're non-striated. Non-striated means they don't have that banded appearance that we saw in cardiac and skeletal. This is one last sample of muscle that I'd like to see if you can guess. It is silver impregnated, which means that we use a silver type of dye to be able to allow the, the uh, structures of this muscle to be seen. It's slightly different color than the other three that you just saw, but it is one of those samples that I stained a different color using a different dye so that we could see different aspects. Tell me in the comments if you, if you can figure out what it is.